Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Tears of Blood Chapter 1. This is a pixelated third-person horror game available for free on Game Jolt, and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Nailed it. What a great intro. I mean, it wasn't a skit, but they can't all be skits, you know? I mean, I did technically introduce the game. What a great content creator you are, John, they'll say. Oh, why thank you, I'll respond. Yeah, I am pretty great. I mean, if they don't think I'm great, what are they gonna do? Unsubscribe? I don't think so. No, 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 you don't have to unsubscribe. Don't make any hasty decisions. You want an intro? You want an intro, huh? Uh, check it out. Uh, uh hey, hey, John and Skies, uh, when are you uploading Southeast Episode 3? Are you holding out on us? Huh? Huh? It's pretty good, right? Off the cuff intro? Was, I did one. So, you know. Well then, all right, uh, let's just go ahead and get into chapter one then. I don't have time for this. So yeah, I think this is a, a fairly short experience, but uh, I've seen some people play it. Uh, left shift, run, E to interact. Okay, well, I didn't see the rest of the controls, but I assume it's like pretty standard stuff. Locked, okay. Look at these people fighting with their stock asset store animations. Hey, look, it's the same boy. 12 times in a classroom. Or maybe it's it's a fellow with uh, 11 of his identical twins. I'm not really sure which one. Look at this person. He is studying hard. Tapping on his piece of paper with no pencil. Okay. So I guess we're at a, a school or some sort of other academic institution showers they're just right here wow i'm not sure what happened there um okay first of all can i just say you are showering with uh your clothes on i also probably shouldn't be here right now if you're taking a shower uh why am i here am i a teacher i feel like this is inappropriate this is a school only for octuplets and above. So, <laughs> I think, <laughs> and twin teachers as well. I guess I must have a twin somewhere in addition. We'll have to, we'll have to look out for our, our twin. YouTube, that's immersion breaking. Why is that there? Are we in the middle of a desert? Are we on another planet? No, it's just an asset, I guess. Uh, Mr. 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 Director is in this room. Unfortunately, it's locked. That's too bad. Uh, it, it's burger time. Can I open this up? I certainly can. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, we're on just a desert planet. We're on Mars. This is the first school on Mars, I guess. Loading. Okay. You guys can't see the loading because I'm got my face in front of it. Pool. Weren't we just at the pool? This is the exact same map that we walked into at the beginning of the game. This is a very large person on the desk. That's the biggest student I've ever seen. Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> what? What's gonna happen? Is this like... In another time period? Let's go back into the showers. Okay. Oh, there's blood in the shower. That's a little sinister. The pool's also drained. But there appears to be no actual drain in it. So I'm not sure how they did that. I guess it's magic. They had YouTube in the 1920s. Mr. Director's room is still locked. Burger time. Oh, locked. I need to find a key, I think. A key? Would you say it's probably in here? It's probably way in the back here, I imagine. Key, key, key. Press E to interact. Why am I pressing E to interact with? Ah! I found the key. Okay, that was fortunate. You can just kind of tell where things are sometimes. Okay, let's go... into Mr. Director's room, or... Wait, no, this is... I'm just taking the same path I took earlier.
Is that a zombie? I don't think I've ever seen a zombie just snap kick someone on the chin like that. Okay, dude, you let that happen to you. No sympathy here. You literally got up and stood there. So what, are we gonna run away from the zombie now? Let's go back and, and check. We'll confront the zombie. Hey! Where are ya? I'm gonna go back. I gotta save that person. They're dead! We knew that. Where's the zombie? Did they go take a shower? We- we should have run into them, right? Are they in the showers? Are they... anywhere? Where'd the zombie go? I don't think you're supposed to go back. I think you're supposed to just not care about the situation and run out like a coward. Maybe that's what we'll do. The music just stopped, so... Hmm. I'm not really sure why this has a pixelation filter. Because... It's clearly 3D graphics, 3D assets from from the Unreal Store. Okay, hello, uh, officers. What happened here? We'll never solve the crime. I saw the whole thing, officers. A zombie girl kicked him in the chin, you see, and he died instantly. I know it sounds unlikely, but that's what happened. You gotta believe me. Let's go to the pool. Oh, it's slowed down. Oh, I saw something! Something ran past! Hang on, let's go to the showers. This is my favorite place to go in this game. What happened here? There appears to be blood! Look at him, he's investigating! He without any tools or anything? Just bare hands on the tile? He doesn't need any tools. He's putting together a blood splatter in his head right now. He's like Dexter, solving the crime immediately. Can I please? How come I can't visit Mr. Director? So... Do I go back here or do I just loop again? I did... I need to find a key. Oh, I found a key. It was on the chair by the pool. That's been drained for whatever reason. Okay, I'm not sure why it was left there, but we're gonna go use it. Wait! Okay, if it says locked, then I can't open it. But if it says locked, I need a key, then we can open it. Okay, we're about to go where we've never been before. In this door over here. Excuse me. Are we in? Elevator. Okay. Why is the elevator button on the opposite side of the building from the... That's- that's not an elevator. That- that's just... a pit. I mean, I guess, in that sense, every hole is an elevator. <laughs> it's just- it's a- it's an elevator shaft without a, a container, that's all. What is happening? This is possibly the ugliest thing I've ever seen in a game. Um... Where am I going? Just, uh... I like how my footsteps echo as if I'm inside a building. When clearly I'm outside. There's no sound effects, though. So when do we get to the part where we start crying blood? Tears of blood. A burning effigy, huh? Oh! It's someone on a cross. Right, so this is where we're supposed to go, right? That was the zombie from earlier. Is she gonna... Is she gonna snap kick us in our chin? Oh, we gotta get away from this zombie. We gotta get away. She's coming after us. See. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't expect that. We can go into Mr. Director's room where the chair's floating. 
Oops. I found a key. What was that? I guess something else happened. I just missed it. Locked. Ow. What? Did I get hurt? Oh no, things are moving, guys. Tables are moving. I opened it up. Uh. What? It's really hard to see. What the hell? It's really hard to see in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like impossible to see. So we, what, we open up the elevator? Wow, flashing lights warning. Good thing I put one at the beginning of the video. Future John will, anyway. Present John is busy playing. That's a job for future John. I say that about ten times a day. The dishes are dirty. That's a job for future John. I recognize that model, even though it's pixelated. I recognize that model. Seen it in other games like uh, Life After Us Shipwrecked. What did she- did she kick- she- she literally kicked us on the chin! I was kidding when I said that earlier. Good morning. She disappeared into the wall. It was my first game, thanks for playing. Okay. Well, okay, first of all, I just want to say This isn't a, a, a product being sold on Steam It is it is for free as it should be on Game Jolt um, If this was your first game developer I Mean I, I could see some creativity there. It was mostly nonsensical, but I could see some things that were attempted that were at least outside the realm of like you wake up. You don't remember who you are. Time to find some keys and notes to uncover a not-so-interesting story. And also there's, you know, a monster in the game's, you know, a mess. So, like, I mean, this game was basically just a key hunt. I, I would say if I had one piece of advice for the developer, it would be to watch your lights. I was blinded half the game by... The lights, uh, light boxes everywhere. Um, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't have any advice on how to, to fix that sort of thing. But, um, I would also say don't lean entirely on bought assets. And I would also say don't use so many filters. There was like, there was clearly like a pixelation filter. And then that one forest level, there was like a negative film filter or something like that. Black and white. Um, it was kind of distracting when it switched. I think if you're going to use a filter, just use one and stick with it. Uh, there are some games like, uh, for instance, The Silent House, that they go with the pixelation filter, but they use it throughout. And also that game has, like, fairly good lighting from what I remember, so it pays off. Um, yeah, so that was Tears of Blood Chapter 1. Apparently there's going to be Chapter 2. But I I don't understand how there can be more chapters. It appears that we just had a nightmare and woke up. So I don't know how there could be any continuation of the story. I mean, may, does it have to do with our girlfriend slash mom? I'm not sure. Who walked in and then phased through the wall? Is she a ghost? Is she evil? Maybe that's what the second chapter will focus on. Uh, so yeah, that was Tears of Blood. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.